let's talk about what it would take, like, you know, what we think that if, if we were like three years in or four or five years in, um, to take our career to the next level, um, what do we got to do? What do we got to do? We have to do anything differently? Do we have to have a different, do we have to change our mindset? Do we have to go from like a, you know, $75,000 a year mindset to a $275,000 a year mindset? Is there a difference? What do you think? Well, first off, I definitely have to change the mindset. Um, it, too many people get complacent in what they do day in and day out. And as things change and morph around them, they're getting left behind. I see it every single day. I see, I see people will get on social media and they start complaining about, you know, the new people and they have to do this, they have to do that, the fee schedules and, you know, all these, all these issues. And, and, and they're, and they're not making money. And the reason why they're not making money is because they have not morphed with the industry. Things are different today than what they were, you know, five years ago. The things that I do today, there are things that I had to do when I first got into this business. I don't have to do today. You know, we talk about, we talk about yeah. Xactimate Mobile. Okay. I was, I was definitely one of the early adopters of Xactimate Mobile. I was using that, you know, several years ago. My first time I saw it and I found out what I needed to have to be able to use that technology, I jumped on it and I did it and made my job so much easier and so much faster. Just the sketching part of it, just being able to use, if all I used Xactimate Mobile for, which is pretty much the majority of what I use it for, is just to go in and, and, and sketch, you know, how much time has that saved me, you know? If that's all I use it for. And then on site, using my phone to take the pictures and uploading, you know, on the on site and labeling. Everything's done right there and it's so much faster and easier. And they and you have these people that are talking about, well, you know, I used to be able to make, you know, minimum five hundred dollars a claim. That was my cut, you know. Well, you know, back then when you made five hundred bucks a claim, well, guess what? You were having to you know, you had Polaroids, you know, you had that expense. Right. Nobody reimbursed you for your Polaroids, did they? No, that, no, that was your expense. You know, nobody reimbursed you for your film. Nobody, you know, you had to do all this stuff manually. You had to write the check. You had to do all this diary stuff. You had to do all these things. It took you time to, to, took you all this time to do. And now I can walk in with just my phone and, and I can 100% do this claim with my phone. And you're saying that, you can't. You know, there's there's a di there's a different that's that's the mindset that these guys have because they won't move forward with the technology that's there, and and it's not just that. And so, the, and, and it makes us faster. Again, I can do more claims today. Even just even take my wife out of the equation. Okay, honestly, I can do twice as many claims a day as what I do. It's just I don't want to. You know, I I mean I'm I'm enjoying, you know, working less and making more, and and I'm and I again I could probably do a lot more, but I don't want to, you know, and, and I'm making plenty, plenty of income. Okay. While I sit back and see these other guys complaining that they're not making money because they haven't moved forward and it's because of using technology, you know, and, and that's what wow. an, an, ex, an existing adjuster has to do. He has to keep up with the technology, what's going on in the industry and also the expectations of the industry, the expect expectations of what I was expected to do five years ago is completely different than the expectations that I have today. The focus today um, by most firms that you're going to work with, it's not estimatics. I mean, estimatics is important. Don't get me wrong. You still have to put out a, a, a legitimate product, but the order, you know, what's more important, estimatics or the customer service? You know, the, the cycle times. The cycle yeah. times are important. It's what they call the the service level agreement that they have with the carrier. All right. And if you can't keep them within that SLA, that service level agreement, they're not going to use you. It doesn't matter how good of a claim you can write. It doesn't matter how many years of experience you have. If you cannot do that, they're not going to use you period. You know, That's right. and, and, and so, and again, we've discussed this in the past as a manager, I would tell my people, and that was what I focused on all the time was their cycle times and getting it in. Okay. We can fix a bad estimate. Okay. But we can't fix a bad experience for the carrier or the insured. You know, we have to give them, a, we have to, we have, that is the, that is the number one skill that I hear from the firms that I work with that keeps people working. Okay. They say, yeah, we can hire guys all day long with 20 years experience, but 
they suck, you know, because they don't get it. They, they think they, they can just because of their years of experience that they should be getting all the work and they shouldn't. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's again, I see this all the time. I hear it all the time. I see the guys bellowing it out on, you know, I had a guy want to fight with me on LinkedIn one day, you know, because I made a comment about, you know, I don't ask for fee schedules. I don't mainly because no. most of the firms I work with already know what I'm willing to work for when I won't work for, you know, um, and even if I do get a low fee schedule, which I've done, um, if you read the fee schedule and you figure it out, you can figure out how to make money in almost any fee schedule. You know, it's it's a give and take almost everywhere. I mean, one fee schedule I worked in Arizona it was a very low fee schedule, lowest fee schedule I've ever worked. But there wasn't a lot of, it, it wasn't a difficult carrier. All yeah. you had to do is make the appointment, turn in the, uh, turn in the estimate, and that was it. They just wanted something to work off of to start with. So it, it wasn't a lot of, a lot of requirements. And then whenever there was a supplement, then they sent it back to you and you T&E'd the supplement. Okay. Well, people don't realize t and &E a supplement is actually a lot better because normally if you get a supplement, you're either going to get a flat fee or you're going to get the difference in the fee tier, whichever is more. Well, I can pretty much make my T&E on that, beat those every day. You know, because the phone calls you make, everything you have to do, you know, come to the agreed, you know, uh, you know, the, the agreed cost of repair, all that stuff takes time and you bill for it. And next thing you know, you got a better fee schedule. And so you find ways of, you know, rather than complaining about, complaining about, you know, what a fee schedule is, then why don't you find ways of working? We used to call it back when we were in sales, working your pay plan, you know, um, you knew that. Hey, if I, if I get to this level, then I'm going to make this much money. But if I, you know, and I've got like four more sales that I could pop in for the month, but that's not really going to help me, you know, so I'll hold them for the next month because it's at the end of the month. So just wait two days before I turn those in. No, you worked your pay plan. It's almost the same thing. Just gets work smarter, not harder, you know, and, but it's staying on top of technology and, 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 and adapting to what is required by the by the firms and the carriers that's how you stay ahead that's how you continue to get work and continue to stay at the top in my opinion what's your what's your thought on that no i totally agree <clears throat> and you know you have to do that no matter what no matter what year it is right whether it's 1989 or it's 2029 right and i will say um i'll add to this you know, if you're the, if you're a person who is, you're just grumpy, it's just your personality. It's just who you are. You're not very good with customers. You never have been. And you know what? Maybe you never will be. That's okay. Right. There's, there could still places for people that, you know, maybe they don't want to make them customer facing. You don't need to be customer facing. You're an ace in Xactimate. You're a level 37 in Xactimate, right? You know, everything that there is to know about it. You can write, total loss without the valuation tool in 30 minutes, you know, the, the Disney castle in Orlando, right? You can still get work and still get great work doing file review, um, being a desk examiner, a desk adjuster, right? Um, being a, tr a trainer or helping trainers build their their curriculums, et cetera, right? There, there's not, it's not like you just have to be, we, we're sitting here talking about customer service. You still want to be a nice person and be, you know, kind to your coworkers or you're not going to be able to work anywhere, not, even McDonald's, right? Um, but we're not, I'm not, we, we, we shouldn't make it sound like that there's, you, if, you, if you're really good at exact tomato stability or you're really technical, you have a lot of construction knowledge, but you just kind of suck with customers, that there's not a place for you in this industry. And there absolutely is. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house? On video, what about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is stability and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims suggesting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now 
at adjustyourtvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride along. Speaking of ride alongs, click here to get right along to the next video. Because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along. Get it right. Just move right along versus ride along. It's right along. Get right along to it.